there seems to be some confusion um, between what is um, language learning in terms of the academic language learning and the social language learning. learning. We, we realize that students will pick up English if they live in this country by watching TV, listening to the radio, music, friends, etc. Um, is that what we're really focusing on um, in terms of school and what, we're, and what we're trying to do with the students? Or is it more about the academic language and what's the difference? You make a very good point that, that it's something that's really confusing um, for educators and again another struggle that is part of a struggle that we're addressing when we're, we're working with teachers and, and districts um, to best prepare teachers. We have to help teachers understand that there are two types of language that our children are acquiring as they're developing proficiency in their first as well as in their second language. The first type is what we call BICS, Basic Interpersonal communication, Communicative Skills, or what we like to call um, in school playground language. Um, the language that, as you've said, kids are going to learn you know, after school, before school, when they go to the movies, when they watch TV, when they um, listen to the radio, and, and so on. It's also what our English language learners learn first um, when they're learning English as a second language. And we know that, that the great thing about um, BICS or social language is that they're going to acquire proficiency in it probably within a year. So they're going to sound just like their English counterparts when they're using this type of language. The struggle for our teachers is understanding that when I am working with English language learners in my classroom, my primary focus is that second type of language, which is what we call CALP. Cognitive Academic Language Proficiency, Academic English, the language of the classroom, the language that makes up the social studies content that they are developing, the um, math vocabulary, and so on and so forth. We know from research that to become proficient in CALP when you're developing it as a second language takes children five to seven years. And, and actually, current research is showing us that it might even take a bit longer, seven to ten years. So if our teachers are not making sure that from the minute English language learners step in their classroom, they're not making sure that academic language is the focus of their instruction, we're already starting our children behind. We've only got so much time with them as it is, and if research is telling us it takes this window of time, we've got to make sure we're doing an effective job of it from the minute they step in our classrooms. Because that will ensure their success yes. in school yes. and in and in, beyond. In, right, and, and beyond. in their careers and eventually will take them to college and higher education Absolutely. and so forth. So if we want to give them that opportunity. We've got to make it the focus of our classrooms. We have to make it. The, it is up to us to teach academic language. We can use their social English as a foundation as a resource, as a tool to develop that academic language. But as teachers, our primary focus must be academic language.